For vehicles that use CAN Gateway Diagnostics, a useful feature of VCDS is the Gateway Installation List. CAN Gateway Diagnostics first appeared in some 2004 vehicles. Note that the older generation of diagnostics was done over a K line and that was phased out by the end of 2010. So from 2004 to 2010, as a newer generation of vehicles came out, they would use CAN Gateway Diagnostics. The Gateway Installation List function is not supported by K line diagnostics. From the first screen of VCDS, click on Auto Scan, then click on the Gateway Installation List button. In a few seconds, the results will be shown. The CAN Gateway module has a list of control modules it is expecting to communicate with. The Gateway Installation List function will have VCDS ask the CAN Gateway for that list and a simple status of each module in the list. There are four possible status results for any given control module. OK, Malfunction, Cannot be reached, not registered. If there are no issues with a given control module, the status will be listed as OK and that line of data is in black. This can be useful to quickly verify no fault codes have been flagged after a follow-up test drive. If there are stored fault codes in a control module, then the status will be malfunction. You can double click on that line of data from the gateway installation list and VCDS will connect to that control module and go directly to checking DTCs. When the CAN Gateway module does not have communication with a given control module, it comes up as cannot be reached. For any given control module to communicate, it must have the Holy Trinity, powers, grounds, and data. You will need to use the wind diagram and a multimeter to verify the Holy Trinity for the control module is to factory design. If there is a control module communicating with the CAN gateway, but the CAN gateway does not expect that module to be installed in the vehicle, it comes up as not registered. This will often happen with retrofits. This is a simple issue to resolve. Note the address of the control module. In this example, address 13, auto distance regulation. We will need to connect to the CAN gateway module, so I will double click on the line of data for the CAN gateway. VCDS will jump into checking the fault codes of the CAN gateway. I click Done Go Back. From the Open Controller screen, I click on the Installation List button. This is where the installation list comes from. Boxes that are checked are expected to communicate. However, Address 13, Auto Distance Regulation, box is not checked. Click on the box to enable it, then click on Save Coding. Now clear the fault code out of the CAN gateway module. Exit out of the CAN Gateway module. Click on Gateway Installation List again to refresh and now address 13 Auto Distance Regulation and address 19 CAN Gateway come up as OK. Looking at the Gateway Installation List is not a replacement for doing a full auto scan when you first have access to the vehicle. Failure to run a full auto scan can and will cost you money.